Welcome to Ben's Experience. In this video, I will share with you how to add a search engine just for your website in Hostinger Website Builder. This is the search engine that I've just added in my own website. Let's do a search, for example, for example, digital products, because I already know that I have a blog post with this uh, keyword in it, in its title. Let's search. As you can see, this is the search results. And as you can see, only my website is shown in this search results, benstutorial.com. Now let's click on the first result. And as you can see, it uh, redirects me to this uh, page with my search keyword. To have a search engine feature like this one on your own website, just log in to your Hostinger account. Then click on websites and select websites list. You will see a list with all of your available websites on this on your account. Click on this edit website button next to your website. If you are like me, you have multiple different websites and you're looking for an easy way to easily distinguish between websites built using WordPress and other websites built, built using Hostinger Website Builder. Just look at this little icon next to each website. This is a WordPress website icon and this is a, uh, the icon of websites built using Hostinger Website Builder. Now click on Edit Website. This is my website homepage in Hostinger Website Builder. And the first thing I will do is I will create a blank space below my header. Add blank section. Now I will add a big title element. To do so, just click on this little plus icon from this uh, left sidebar. Drag and drop this text element. Let's uh, rewrite it for search this website. Make it a little bit wider. Place it at this top. After adding your search engine big title like that, go to Google and search for programmable search engine. This is, or visit the first uh, search result. This is official from Google. The website is called programmable search engine.google.com. Click on get started. As you can see, you don't have any search engine. Create, hit create your first search engine. Name your search engine from here. In my case, I will, I will name it after my website. My website is called benstutorial.com. I will call it Ben's Tutorial Search Engine. Now, what to search? For the search, you can go with search specific sites or pages or search the entire web. In my case, I will go with search only my website. And even for that, you can go with multiple uh, or you can add any of the following. For example, you can uh, search only for individual pages for your entire site, just parts of the site of your site or the entire domain. In my case, I will go with my entire site. So you need to fill in or enter your site following this format. So I will copy it like that. And I will copy just my website name and replace my website with my website name, just like that. So this is the starting of my website and this is the ending. Hit this add button. Let's zoom out. And as you can see, my website is added following this format. Now you can go with searching settings. For example, you can also include image searches, search 
and also enable or disable the safe search feature. I will enable both of these options and here I will confirm that I'm not a robot and after that hit this create button. Your new search engine has been created. Copy the following code and paste it into your site's body section where you want the search box and the search results to render or to appear. Let's copy this code like that. Go back to your website page where you want to add this search engine. Hit this add element or this little plus icon again. Scroll down to the bottom. Drag and drop this element called embed code. Now hit enter code. Delete this existing code and pass the code you've just got from Google. Hit this embed code button and you can place this search engine bar where you want it and you can adjust the length of the search bar just like that. Now let's update or before that let's adjust this search or this uh, yes this search section height and update my website. Let's view my site live. This is my search bar title and this is the search bar. Let's search for digital products again because I know I have a blog post with this keyword. Hit the search button. As you can see, I can see the search results. To fix this, it's simple. Go back to the uh, programmable search engine page go back to all engines click on the engine or the search engine you've just created scroll down to look and feel and hit this all look and feel settings instead of using the overlay layout for your search engine go with full width now that uh, they saved this change, click on get code and copy the code again and replace the old code with the new one. Click on embed code and update your website again. Let's view my website live. And let's research again for digital products and hit the search button. As you can see, now the search results are shown entirely. And as you can see, all I see is my website. This is what I prefer this search engine from based on Google instead of the, the one that Hostinger Builder provides. Now, if I click on this first search results, I go directly to the page that contain keywords I searched for. Now, let's go back to uh, the programmable search engine website to play a little bit with this search engine settings. Click again on your search engine or the one you've just created. Here you can edit or rename your search engine from here. You can edit the name. You can also add a description if you have multiple search engines. Here you can edit the, you can get the code again. Just click on this copy icon. This is your search engine ID. And this is the public URL for your search engine. Under search features, you can enable or disable the search or the image search feature. Same thing for the safe search or not. The augment results, you can also enable searching the entire web from here. In my case, I, I, I prefer to only search my website. Here you can also edit the region or customize the search results based on selected region. For example, if the majority of your website visitors are coming from the US, 
it is better to go with go with us or the united states now the uh, search results will be based on just the us region restricted results if you enable this uh, this option you will only show search results from your selected region in my case it is the us here or below sites to search if you have multiple websites you can add your own website or another website from here you can only uh, post your website address following one of these formats and you, they will be uh, shown in the search results you can also exclude some sites from appearing same thing you need to add them in this list for following this format and below the look and feel you can edit the search engine language from this list and if you click on all look and feel settings you will be redirected to this page where we've already uh, changed the search engine results layout the default one i think it is the overlay for uh, hostinger website builder it is better to go with full width here you can edit the search engine theme for example this is the default theme or theme you can go with a minimalistic theme the espresso theme as you can see the only difference is the a little bit of color difference bubble gum shiny let's say that you are after uh, you are interested in this bubble gum theme click on save as you can as you can see are you sure you want to change the theme you will lose you will lose all the customized changes confirm the, your selection and you will see this theme in your search engine you can also uh, delete this uh, enhanced by google if you want all you need to do is before i continue this tutorial i would like to let you know that you can get access to my online course about hosting a website builder today for free inside this course you will learn many things including how to get started with hosting a website builder how to set up and design your website inside hosting a website builder also how to create and manage your content how to optimize your seo e-commerce and payments uh, features or settings and also how to integrate and use custom codes inside hostinger website builder and also long tutorials like how to build a handyman website a personal training website or just a portfolio website if you want to get access to all of these courses today for free and also my other free online courses inside my university just go to university.benzexperience.com link in the description without any further ado let's continue our tutorial if you want all you need to do is to go to this and below customize go to the google branding and you can disable google branding this is with this is the design with the google branding and this is without the google branding click on save and now let's refresh this page again and as you can see my search bar does not have the google branding anymore another search uh, or another customization that you can do from the general you can edit the font the border color or the background color to suit your website design you can also edit the search box and button for example the box border color the button border color the button background color icon or the button icon color this is a preview of what you are doing refinement under refinement you can edit the text color set normal or the selected also the background color same thing normal or selected google branding we've already seen that you can also edit the search result 
or customize the search result uh, appearance for example the border color uh, with the normal in the normal state or under the hover state result title this programmable search engine uh, website gives you the ability to, to customize uh, the very little details to suit your website branding or appearance hosted logo this is very good you can uh, add your own logo from here just give them your logo image url here and they will use it as your own logo add logo link you can even add a link to your logo and from here you can adjust your logo height thumbnails in search engine here you can enable or disable the the thumbnails in search results if you don't know thumbnails are those little images next to each search result i think that's all for this video if you still have a question leave it in the comments below and don't forget to give this video a like thank you